Hello friends, in today's video, we shall see the mathematical derivation of compensated and uncompensated demand functions. The consumer reaches equilibrium at that point where the slope of the indifference curve is equal to the slope of the budget line. So this can be written as the marginal rate of substitution of good x for y is equal to mux by muy which is equal to px by py. So suppose if a Cope Douglas utility function is considered that is u is equal to x y and the budget constraint is m is equal to price of x multiplied by x plus price of y multiplied by y then the compensated and the uncompensated demand functions can be derived using substitution method as well as the Lagrangian multiplier. So initially we will see how the Hicksian and Marshallian demand functions are derived using the substitution method. So we have our objective utility function which is maximizing u is equal to x y subject to the budget constraint. Now differentiating the utility function with respect to x and y we get del u by del x is equal to y and del u by del y is equal to x. Now derivative of total utility with respect to number of units of good x is nothing but the marginal utility of good x. So del u by del x is marginal utility of x and del u by del y is the marginal utility of y. So this equation can be written as mu x is equal to y and mu y is equal to x. So we can rewrite the consumer's equilibrium as MRS of x for y is equal to mu x by mu y which is equal to px by py which is equal to y by x. Now by cross multiplication we get px multiplied by x is equal to py multiplied by y. Now from this equation we can solve for x and y that is x is equal to py by px multiplied by y and y will be equal to px by py multiplied by x. Now substituting these two equations in the budget constraint in the place of x and y we can solve for the Marshallian uncompensated demand functions. So the budget constraint is m is equal to px multiplied by x plus py multiplied by y. So substituting in the place of x we get m is equal to px multiplied by py by px multiplied by y plus py multiplied by y. Here px and px will get cancelled so we'll get m is equal to py multiplied by y plus py multiplied by y which is equal to 2py. So from this if we solve for y we get y is equal to m divided by 2py. This is the Marshallian demand for good y. Similarly, we can solve for the Marshallian demand for good x. That is in the budget constraint. We will substitute the above equation in the place of y. So that is m is equal to px multiplied by x plus py multiplied by px by py multiplied by x. So here py and py will get cancelled. So we will get m is equal to px multiplied by x plus px multiplied by x which is equal to 2px multiplied by x. So here solve for x we get m divided by 2 px. This is the Marshallian demand for good x. Now in order to derive the Hicksian compensated demand functions these equations must be substituted to the utility function u is equal to x y. So initially substituting in the place of x we get u is equal to py divided by px multiplied by y multiplied by y. So this is y square multiplied by py by px. Now taking this y square onto the LHS we get y square is equal to px by py y multiplied by u. We have taken the reciprocal here. Now bringing this square back to the RHS we get y is equal to the root of u multiplied by px by py. This can also be written as y is equal to u raised to 0.5 px by py raised to 0.5. So this is the Hicksian demand for good y. Similarly we can find out the Hicksian demand for good x that is the equation can be substituted in the place of y. So we will get u is equal to x multiplied by px by py multiplied by x. Solving this we get u is equal equal to x square multiplied by px by py. Now bringing this x square onto the LHS we get x square is equal to py by px multiplied by u. Again reciprocal has been taken. Now bringing the square back to the RHS we get x is equal to root of u multiplied by py by px or this can also be written as x is equal to u raised to 0.5 py by px raised to 0.5. So this is the Hicksian demand for good x. The Marshallian and Hicksian demand functions can also be derived using Lagrangian multi multiplier as well. So in the Marshallian demand, the consumer tries to maximize the utility subject to a given budget constraint. So this can be written as maximizing 
u is equal to x by subject to the budget constraint m is equal to p x multiplied by x plus p y multiplied by y. So initially we have to equate the budget constraint to zero and then multiply it with the Lagrangian multiplier lambda and then we have to add that equation to the objective function in order to get the final Lagrangian function. So the budget constraint is m is equal to p x x plus p y y. So equating it to zero we get m minus p x x minus p y y is equal to zero. Now multiplying this equation with lambda we get lambda multiplied by m minus p x x minus p y y is equal to zero. Now adding this equation to the objective function we get the Lagrangian function denoted as phi is equal to x y plus lambda multiplied by m minus p x x minus p y y. Now we need to calculate the first order conditions of the Lagrangian function with respect to x y and lambda and then set the equations to zero. So differentiating the Lagrangian function phi with respect to x we get del phi by del x is equal to y plus minus lambda p x is equal to zero. This can be solved as y minus lambda p x is equal to zero which is y is equal to lambda p x. Now solving for lambda we get lambda is equal to y by p x. Similarly differentiating Lagrangian function with respect to y we get del phi by del y is equal to x plus minus lambda p y is equal to zero. Solving this we get x minus lambda p y is equal to zero which is x is equal to lambda p y. Again solving for lambda we get lambda is equal to x by p y and now differentiating Lagrangian function with respect to lambda we get del phi by del lambda is equal to m minus p x x minus p y y is equal to zero. So here solving for lambda we get lambda is equal to y by p x is equal to x by p y. Now rearranging this equation we can write it as p x by p y is equal to y by x. Now through cross multiplication we get p x multiplied by x equal to p y multiplied by y. Now from this equation we can solve for x and y that is y is equal to p x by p y multiplied by x and x is equal to p y by p x multiplied by y. So this is the same equation as that of what we have derived in the substitution method. So now substituting these equations into the budget constraint we get the Marshallian demand for good x and y that is m is equal to p x x plus instead of y we will substitute p y multiplied by p x divided by p y multiplied by x. So from this we can write m is equal to 2 p x multiplied by x or x is equal to m divided by 2 p x. Similarly substituting in the place of x we get m is equal to p x multiplied by p y by p x multiplied by y plus p y multiplied by y is equal to 2 p y multiplied by y. So this can be written as m is equal to 2 p y multiplied by y and from this solving for y we get m divided by 2 p y. So here we have derived the Marshallian demand for good x and y. Similarly, we can also derive the Hicksian demand using Lagrangian function. So in the Hicksian demand, the consumer tries to minimize her expenditure subject to a utility constraint. So this can be written as minimizing m is equal to px x plus pyy subject to the utility constraint u is equal to xy. So again, the utility constraint need to be equated to 0 and then multiplied with lambda and then should be added to the objective function. So here we can write the Lagrangian function function phi as px x plus pyy that is our objective function plus the utility constraint that is lambda multiplied by u minus xy. Now again we need to find out the first order conditions with respect to x, y and lambda and then set it equal to 0. So del phi by del x is equal to px plus minus lambda y is equal to 0. Solving this we get px minus lambda y is equal to 0. This is px is equal to lambda y and from this lambda is equal to px divided by y. Similarly, del phi by del y is equal to py plus minus lambda x is equal to 0. This is py minus lambda x is equal to 0 or py is equal to lambda x and from this lambda is equal to py divided by x. And then solving the Lagrangian function with respect to lambda, we get del phi by del lambda is equal to u minus xy equals 0. Now solving for lambda, we get lambda is equal to px by y which is equal to py by x. Now rewriting this equation, we get px by py is equal to y by x. Now through cross multiplication, we get px multiplied by x equal to py multiplied by y. Now from this equation, we can solve for x and y. That is y is equal to px by py multiplied by x 
x and x is equal to py by px multiplied by y. Now substituting these equations into the utility constraint u is equal to xy, we can derive the Hicksian demand for good x and y. So initially we will substitute in the place of y. So u is equal to x multiplied by px by py multiplied by x. This is equal to x square multiplied by px by py. Now bringing the x square to the LHS, we get x square equals u multiplied by py by px. We have taken the reciprocal. Now bringing the square to the RHS back, we can write it as x is equal to root of u py by px. This can also be written as x is equal to u raised to 0.5 py by px raised to 0.5. Similarly, if we substitute in the place of x, we get u is equal to py by px multiplied by y multiplied by y is equal to y square multiplied by py by px. So this can be written as y square equals px by py multiplied by u. Again, we have taken the reciprocal. Now bringing the square back to the RHS, we can write it as y is equal to root of u px by py. This can also be written as y is equal to u raised to 0.5 px by py raised to 0.5. So this is the Hicksian demand or the compensated demand for good x and y. If you like the video, do subscribe to my channel and share the videos to maximum. Thank you.